Because he wasn't doing a good job, very simply. He was not doing a good job. Do you believe this BS? He did his job fine when he was on Clinton's case. Yeah, remember how he said she was extremely careless in her handling of classified or sensitive data? Right, and then he said we cannot find a case where you could bring criminal charges in the case. I did not email any um, classified material to anyone. There is no classified material. 110 emails in 52 email chains have been determined by the owning agency to contain classified information at the time they were sent or received. I provided all my emails that could possibly be work-related. Several thousand work-related emails that were not among the group of 30,000 emails returned by Secretary Clinton. I thought using one device would be simpler. We also used numerous mobile devices to send and to read email. There were no security breaches. It is possible that hostile actors gained access to Secretary Clinton's personal email account. It was my practice to communicate with State Department and other government officials on their .gov account. But hostile actors gained access to the private commercial email accounts of people with whom Secretary Clinton was in regular contact from her personal account. Um, no doubt that we've done exactly what we should have done. They were extremely careless in their handling of very sensitive, highly classified information. People will be able to judge for themselves. We cannot find a case that would support bringing criminal charges on these facts. This is not to suggest that in similar circumstances, a person who engaged in this activity would face no consequences. You can't go back and forth like that. First Donald hugs the guy, now he fires him based on old news. It's all very suspicious, so why was he really fired? The first report by Comey happened on July 6, 2016. This is so implausible. Comey gets fired after Hillary accuses him of costing her the election. The firing should have taken place during the transition, not four months later, not ten months after the event. It's ridiculous. It makes no sense. Supposedly Comey went to Rosenstein and asked for money and manpower to broaden his investigation into the Russian involvement in the election. There you go. It's all about Russia. I believe the investigation about the Russian involvement in our election, plus the Russian relationships with members of Trump's team is something that Trump does not want disclosed. A question for all. Did Donald direct Sessions and Rosenstein to write the memo so he would have ammunition to fire Comey? There are now reports that Rosenstein threatened to resign because his letter was cited as the primary reason for Comey's firing. Uh, let me just lay it out for you. The, uh, the FBI director reports to the deputy attorney general. Uh, the deputy attorney general uh, is a gentleman by the name of Rod Rosenstein. Rosenstein. Uh, he is someone who has been around the Department of Justice, as I mentioned, for 30 years. He made a determination that the uh, FBI director had lost his confidence, made a recommendation to the attorney general. The attorney general concurred with that uh, and forwarded that recommendation today on to the president, who agreed with their, uh, with their conclusions and terminated the attorney general, the FBI director's so Rosenstein is upset, Comey's been fired, even if Trump or his people had no communications with Russia, it appears to be a cover-up, he's painted himself into a corner, now he needs to appoint a special prosecutor, a very independent special prosecutor. This investigation must be run as far away as possible from this White House and as far away as possible from anyone that President Trump has appointed. Given the way the President fired Director Comey, any person who he appoints to lead the Russia investigation will be concerned that he or she will meet the same fate as Director Comey if they run afoul of the administration. Two investigations are currently ongoing. Today we'll no doubt hear calls for a new investigation which could only serve to impede the current work being done to not only discover what the Russians may have done, <coughs> also to let this body and the national security community develop countermeasures and warfighting doctrine to see that it doesn't occur again. How about that? Now there will be a fight about a special prosecutor. Trump better make sure that Comey's replacement is beyond reproach or suspicion. 
Don't be surprised if congressional Republicans turn against Trump. Rosenstein may turn against Donald if he appoints a replacement for Comey who was, or appeared to be, partial to the president. It is in the president's interest, as well as in the interest of the country, that Comey's replacement is beyond reproach or suspicion.